Well, Australian businesses say they lack the language skills they need to expand in Asia. It's one of the findings of a new report from the Australian Industry Group and AsiaLink, an organisation set up to promote Australia's relationship with the region. They're keen to expand into Asia. Almost 400 Australian businesses were surveyed for the report. Three quarters were interested in spreading into the region, with half planning to do it within a year. I think the, the fabulous finding is that Australian industry and business is inter increasingly engaged and very strongly engaged in this region and plans to become more engaged in this region. Most of the focus is on China, although Australia's Trade Minister is encouraging businesses to look at other Asian economies that are also growing strongly. My own view uh, is that we need to put more resources into strongly emerging markets and frontier markets. The report finds Australian companies lack the experience and skills to operate in Asia, especially when it comes to speaking Asian languages. Only 250 students from a non-Chinese background are studying Mandarin in Australia for their final year of school. We please need a greater investment, an ongoing investment in not just Asian languages but Asian studies in schools. The minister pointed to a $60 million government program to teach Asian languages but admitted more is needed. So I'm absolutely committed to doing it. Love to do more quickly, but we've got to get that budget back into surplus in 2012-13. The opportunities in Asia may be boundless, but more government assistance will have to wait.